Dunque abbiamo qui un grande ospite questa sera per le interviste di Mystery to Radio Show, un personaggio molto legato a un altro grosso personaggio, eh, diciamo da noi molto apprezzato qui a Mystery to Radio Show, vale a dire King Diamond, stiamo parlando del suo storico bassista, il mitico Hal Patino. Hey Hal! Hey, how you doing, Mickey? Yeah, quite fine. What can you tell us about your surname, Patino? Uh, yeah, well, what can I tell you? You know, I'm born in America, you know, I'm a... Uh, Uh, my mom is Danish, you know, and uh, my father's name was uh, is uh, Patino, you know. So uh, I don't know if you, we are relative or what we are. It could be uh, is it is an uh, Italian name or is it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's uh, I have to find out, you know, the uh, from where it comes from, you know, the part of yeah. Italy from where it comes from. Yeah, because I heard something about uh, um, uh, Scotland and um, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know, but. Uh, <laughs> South America or something, you yeah, know, but... It, uh, <laughs> it sounds Latin, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can you tell us, uh, like a, a brief uh, biography of your musical career? When did you start? Oh, I started back... Uh, my first album came out in 74. Um, no, uh, 84, sorry. Yeah. Uh, that was a Maltese Falcon, a Danish band. I've done a lot of stuff, you know, uh, before that. But um, after that, you know, I joined King Diamond back in 87. Mm-hmm. And they recorded them. And that, that was pretty much, you know, that, uh, yeah, my start for, for, for real, you know. Um, on bigger stages, you know, starting to win the world and all that, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've done a lot of other projects between that. I, I had a band with uh, Chris Caffrey from the Sabotage, you know, um, oh. called uh, Butcher... Uh, And uh, now I'm back with King, you know, and um, yeah, as you probably know, we will do uh, a European uh, festival tour now, you know, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and what, what was it like to, to play with, with King Down back in the 80s? Was it different than now? The, that was actually a lot of fun because uh, we were one of these bands, you know, everybody hated, you know, because of the, you know, uh, that Satanism and all that, yeah. you know, it was uh, like a... Uh, put in that uh, category, you know, so uh, that was kind of cool, you know, because uh, none, none of uh, us in the band had ever been into that, you know, but, um, you know, and when we came to America, we moved to America actually in the, in the, in the summer of uh, 88 mm-hmm. and uh, to California, uh, to Hollywood, you know, and uh, that was, that was uh, the coolest uh, thing ever for me, I think, you know, came from Little Denmark, you know, playing little clubs here, you know, And this, uh, and uh, kick the tour off in uh, in uh, in America, you know, and with, with that name at that time, you know, that was that was a lot of fun. I tell you that. Yeah, definitely. And now, uh, your son, Marian Cotton, a uh, brand new project. What can you tell us about that? Uh, yes, that's uh, Marian Cotton is my son, of course. And um, you know, we've been working. Uh, I've been working with him since he was uh, like three, four years old. You know, and. Um, He's really into that. Uh, yeah, he's really into the same kind of music as I am, and uh, and we what we try we try to do and um, what we're doing actually is uh, you know uh, we will do the seventies kind of stuff you know and uh, put a new sound into it you know modern sound into it you know. Yeah, and now and, uh, the, the, there is something very important, and we know what we <laughs> we are talking about yeah. the Dick Wagner production. Yeah, Dick Wagner was a uh, he's my hero you know and. Um, Since I was a little kid, I've been uh, listening to uh, Dick Wagner. You know, he's uh, my all-time favorite guitar player. Oh, you know, um, I saw him uh, with Alice Cooper in '75 uh, uh, on the Nightmare Tour. Oh yeah, you've yeah, been lucky, very lucky. Yeah, so um, you know, I'm be- I'm very happy. You know, I'm very honored to uh, you know to uh, have him on the album. He's going to produce the new Marion Cotton album now. You know, and um, and that uh, and it's going to be a, a concept album. You know, uh, a horror concept album. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I can't really say that much about yeah, how to write yeah, now. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. <laughs> But it's going to be great, you know. Um, and so we'll be doing the, the pre production uh, right now. I actually sitting in, in my son's uh, studio here, you know. Yeah. He's sitting right next to me here, and uh, we're doing uh, the production right now, the pre production. But uh, yeah, I can't wait for people to hear that because it's going to be fucking kill, man, I tell you. And then are you going to like. Uh, Do like a tour, live activity? Yeah, hopefully, you know, uh, let's see what's going to happen, you know. First of all, we're going to be, uh, everybody's focused uh, on the album now, you yeah, know, yeah, to definitely. find the right sound, you know, the right arrangement and all that, you know. So, um, yeah. So hopefully, you know. Like playing uh, all around Europe. 
That's what we're yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah, that, that is the plan, of course, you know. But um, now, right now, is uh, that's the album, you know. We yeah, had yeah, to yeah. focus on, you know. Yeah. Which are your like main influences as a musician? Oh well, that's uh, my uh, that that's gonna be Alice Cooper, you know, uh, old Alice Cooper band. These two bands, you know, from seventy seventy four and seventy uh, five and up till uh, you know, yeah, seventy uh, eight or something. You know that period, you know, and the old Slate, uh, remember Slate? Yeah, yeah, the glam yeah. glam rock band. Yeah, you're right. Even uh, you know all that kind of stuff, Black Sabbath and all that. You know, I, I grew up with that stuff. You know, so. Um, yes. Many bands in the in the, the, the glam uh, you know, T Rex sweet. Uh, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I saw all these bands back in the seventies. You know. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do you think about you know you you, you and your son are dealing with this uh, technology nowadays uh, and uh, can it really help music? I think it can. You know, it's uh, way easier because we we're sitting here right now when we have our own little uh, pro tool uh, studio up here. You know yeah. and. Uh, We, we, uh, that was a, a thing we, we we couldn't do back then. In the, uh, we talking 20 years ago, you know. Yeah. yeah and uh, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, way easier that way. But I prefer when we go uh, when we do uh, when we will do uh, that um, the real uh, session, you know, um, the main recording. I prefer to uh, play, uh, you know, the basic tracks uh, live, you know, in the studio, bass and drums and uh, rhythm guitar. I, I kind of like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. But yeah, it's it's easier like to to record like ideas and stuff to nowadays. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, man. You save so much time, you know, and you can go back and forth. You can uh, you know race tracks, you know, you can uh, put new stuff into it, you know, and do this and that. You can basically do you know whatever you want, you know. So that's a big help, I think. And how is the musical scene like in in Denmark right now? Oh, you know. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty much uh, as it is uh, all over Europe. You know, uh, it's growing. You know, but uh, I'm not in contact with uh, these uh, bands here. You know, for for some reason. You know, because I've been off. You know, for for many years uh, because King was sick and all that. You know, so yeah. so me and uh, me and my son uh, Marian, we we had a uh, yeah. We we have built this up in uh, the last five years. You know, um, instead of you know being out and uh, I did that that uh, pretty major thing. I don't know if you know that. Um, Danish band, yeah, yeah. but I was in for for ten months or something. That that was uh, that was about it, you know. Ah, okay, yes, yeah, 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 that, that. And are, are you still uh, in touch with other members from you know King Diamond band? Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, I see Pete once in a while. You know, I talk to Mickey every time he's here with a uh, with a uh, Motorhead. And, yeah. You know, and um, you know Michael Dan and Jimmy Hansen is uh, not living that far from me. You know, and I see all the uh, Hank Sherman too. You know, I see all these guys. You know. Yeah, 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 and uh, so now uh, apart from the new uh, Marion Cotton album, have you got uh, any other projects for the future? Uh, the, yeah, there might be. Uh, you know, uh, we have the King Diamond, of course. You know, and uh, I, I talked to Miggy D about. Uh, Miggy called me, and uh, he was uh, put up a, like a power trio. You know, three, three piece band. You know, and um, I don't know when that's gonna happen. You know, but. Uh, um, And uh, who the the guitar player is going to be right now? But um, yeah, that's a that's a thing coming up here too. You know, five uh, <laughs> favorite movies. Five. <laughs> uh, the thing I remember that much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. No, you. I mean, you 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 play uh, with King Diamond with Marian Cotton. You are uh, so much into cinematic music, something like that. So uh, See, I, I like movies like uh, The Shining. It's one of my favorite. You know. Uh, 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 what's that called? You know, I like all these uh, mafia films too. You know, uh, <laughs> stuff like that. You know, yeah. got the last name. You know, remember Italian last name? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's some influence in the DNA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's <And> cool. <laughs> it's hard to say a fiber, you know, but yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. You, know, um, you know, good horror movies is going to be my favorites. You yeah. know, and, uh, horror and mafia movies. Right. Exactly. That's cool. <laughs> Definitely cool. Okay. Uh, so, um, what do you dream? You know, for your future and uh, Marianne Cotton's future. See, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm uh, trying to be realistic here, but I see it uh, as a as a big act here in a few years. You know, because I think he's uh, he's got the thing. You know, um, to become a, a rock star for for real. You know, because he's got the voice, he's got the looks, and. Uh, And even the music is there now, you know. With the we had the right people to uh, 
to uh, work this out, you know, and uh, to build it up from the uh, yeah from scratch, you know. Yeah. So uh, that is a, a dream for me, you know. Uh, I I uh, I believe in that, you know, and um, you know. Yeah, and yeah. Would, uh, like one message to the Italian fans of Hal Patino. Yeah, um, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ho ho hope to see you soon. <laughs> yeah, I do. I hope to see you soon out there, Italian uh, relatives, you know, and uh, we will kick your ass next time uh, I'm in Italy, that's for sure.